Okay, let's take a look at GC next. And um, this four is developing. If I just could actually take this out to the four hour chart, it's clearer. So <clears throat> the three here of this two down here, A, A, B, C for the B, one, two, three. This should be the four and we get the fifth up. I'm looking for 12.38 to 12.42 and then down again in GC. Um, if you look at the post I put out on the GDX this morning, um, then uh, it's got a very, very similar pattern in play. Those of you who took the trade in Nugget on um, Wednesday, I'm hoping you kind of banked that last night. It, it just gave you all of the money in a day. The, the risk to reward for keeping any um, on any longer was nil. You just take the money. Um, and um, you've seen what my expectations are in the GDX based on both the Hearst analysis and the Elliott Wave analysis. Um, I have got a look, ABX may have bottomed, by the way. Uh, we'll go through the a few of the miners a bit later on today. The other thing to let you know is if you go to the site, all the sector ETF charts have been updated this morning. So those are all up today as of the close last night. Financials is the one to keep a very, very close eye on. It's taken out its recent low um, and I, there's a must hold level on there just below where we are at the 1.0 extension down. If it doesn't hold that, then we're in trouble because financials will be in trouble in terms of making any new highs. If that's the case, it is hard to see the indices continuing up significantly without financials. It's the second biggest sector by um, market capitalization that make up the uh, S&P 500 index. So without it, it, it's hard to see new highs. 